Intuition is not just a way of knowing. It's also a way of healing, a way of guiding, and a, a way of really allowing ourselves to take the risks that matter so that we can be our true selves. Hi, my name is Dr. Heather Schwartz. I'm an intuitive guide. It's a pleasure to have you here. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you are a seasoned traveler back again, welcome again. So intuition, how do we increase it? There are some surprising ways that we can increase it. And first of all, I just want to say what I'm talking about when I mean intuition. I mean this source that is within all of us that reminds each of us who we are individually and who we are collectively. It is a source of guidance that brings more clarity and love and support and encouragement as well as wisdom and healing. And it also brings a feeling of aliveness and a sense that we are all intimately connected in very subtle and profound ways. If you've ever gone into a forest and can feel the forest and its aliveness, who knows, you might be connecting in that internet kind of way from your intuition to the tree's intuition, the energy moving back and forth between you and the world. That, my friends, is intuition. That, my friends, is the sense of community. And we begin this community by being in tune with ourselves first. So in this video, I want to share with you some maybe surprising ways to connect with your intuition and what it involves, which may be surprising because um, when I was growing up, I always thought that intuition, first of all, was very random. I didn't know that I could increase it. It seemed to come at random. Um, I also sometimes would feel spacey and then I would receive downloads and that was confusing. It was only when I began to really study it as a discipline that I understood what created a framework and a foundation to create a steadiness of intuition woven throughout my life, which is what I now do and I now experience and it's wonderful and you can too. So the first surprising thing is to eat healthy, whatever that means to you for your body type. And that doesn't mean eating just tofu or vegetables. It can mean having a wide variety of foods that really fortify your whole system, drinking enough water, getting enough sleep, because being intuitive means being in a healthy, vibrant body. Otherwise, our systems may be off energetically and physically, and we may not be hearing the voice or receiving the voice of our intuition with great clarity. I don't know about you, but if you've ever had a sluggish time, your intuition may not come through fluidly. I had that recently when I was traveling across the country and I was asking myself, what do I want? And I was not making the best food choices. I was in the Midwest and I was not making the best food choices. And I could tell that my intuition was more sluggish than usual. So test it out and see, eat something healthy. Notice how you feel. Notice how quickly your intuition comes. So taking care of our bodies is really important for being very intuitive. That means sleeping well, eating well, having good mental health, you know, having a sense of calm, calming our vagus nerve, calming um, really our amygdala and our limbic system to be able to access intuition is also a second part. Um, and I will be creating practices on videos to be able to share with that. My former background is in clinical psychology. I was a clinical psychologist. And so I'll be integrating that of how to calm the nervous system to be able to hear your intuition more, receive it more. So that's number one and maybe number two. Number three is getting really curious because intuition is about not knowing to know. It's not about thinking. You're going to be receiving your intuition at a greater level when you're curious and open. And you can ask questions and get really curious about the question as opposed to the answer. Intuition is notoriously hard to hear or receive when you're stressed out, which is part of why I talk about balancing the nervous system. Number four is be creative. 
try something new or novel, bring in color, play and whatever that means to you and be creative. And I guarantee you're going to be able to receive your intuition more. What does this mean? You might get a vision of an under or an understanding of something that has eluded you, or maybe you have this understanding that you're more connected than you realize and that you belong. Maybe you feel your angels and your guides. Maybe you can connect with your higher self more. So get really into this state of openness and asking questions and invite in your spirit team, which consists of your higher self, source or God or the universe, your angels, your guides, maybe loved ones who have, who have transitioned on out of their bodies, um, maybe animals, maybe your spirit animals. You're just calling in your spirit team for your highest good and then asking questions. And I say something like, um, angels and, and guides, please come in. I want to, I want to connect with you. I want to invite you to come into my life and help me. And that might mean for a parking space, or it might mean for an idea for a video like this one. Um, this is the, the answer I received about what I was going to be doing today. I said, how can I be of the greatest service? And my intuition said this way, we want you to talk about health and wellness. And I didn't know I was going to be talking about calming the nervous system, but that is part of hearing your intuition. It is a full bodied experience to receive intuition and to be able to use it effectively and to know that intuition is a healing, loving source. The other part is that when you're focused in with your intuition and you might do this by meditating and clearing your mind or you might do some form of intuitive energy work which i will not be talking about in this video but i have mentioned in other videos and i will mention again when you're doing a practice that allows for clearing maybe the sedona method again another video on this channel you allow for more clarity to come in and also for you to hear like the difference between your narrator or inner critic voice and the sense or voice or sensation of your guides and angels or of your higher self. You can also do some writing where you ask for your, you ask a question and then you invite in your angels and your guides to give you an answer or maybe your higher self, you know, and it's a, a lovely, lovely way to have a conversation. The thing that I hear from people frequently is, oh my God, I had no idea this could be so easy to connect with my intuition. I didn't know that was possible. And the truth is we are all hardwired for intuition. We are all hardwired to be able to connect to this force and source within us that provides healing, nurturance, and empathy in, into our human experience and our soul experience. It's a reminder that we are both intimately our individual selves and connected through this larger connection. That's why I call it an internet. You know, it's this connection that starts within and goes out. And this is a game changer, by the way, with relationships. For many of us, there could have been this tendency to please or prove. And the focus on intuition from the body up allows for a greater sense of connection with other people and the world the more that we're connected with ourselves. And intuition is a great way to know whether we're on track or not. You see so many videos out there about, if, you know, do you know your purpose? What's your purpose? I think our purpose is to be ourselves, to live fully, to love fully, to connect, to make the world a better place, you know? Whatever it may be for you, check in with your intuition. Ask in, a, in writing, ask your guides and angels, ask your higher self, what's my purpose? And then notice the answer that comes through, which may be surprising. Intuition is often very, very surprising. It's not the answer we'd expect at all. And it's kind of, it's truly amazing. It always blows me away. And it's a great way to remember that we know so much more by not knowing. So I hope that these tips and practices serve you. Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe so that you can receive more videos like it. All right. Bye for now.